Well, hey out there, all you viewers to be named later. How we doing today? I know, trying a little bit of different lighting setup, seeing what we can get done. But still, it's February, and we have yet to put out our February EDC video. So stay tuned right after we roll that intro, and we'll get right to the good stuff. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for staying past that opening. Now we're only going to get to one little quick bit of housekeeping info. If you like what you're about to see in this video, please hit that thumbs up. So I'm only going to show love and support for the channel. Alright guys, we're going to try some new stuff with the new videos that we've been shooting. So I want you to know what you guys think of the newer format. Okay, so it's February and we're going to have our EDC video. EDC stands for Everyday Carry. All of us do this in some form or another, whether it's like a hat, a coat, your wallet, sunglasses, cell phone. All of us carry some gear with us every single day and you never really think about it. Well, other people out there like myself included, you like having some extra stuff with you. So here's the stuff that I have been carrying since that last video. Now, sorry, I forgot to grab this earlier, like always, just that massive keychain like I always do, you know, um, just the various bits and keys that I need on there to get through. And I just carry like a little Gerber shard. Easy little pry tool, no big deal. And of course, just like with other videos, well, <laughs> the church key. But yeah, in case you're wondering if I need to, and I've had to use this before, you can reach out and touch someone and, you know, bridge that threat gap, so to speak. So... Anywho, that's why I keep it a little bit long, and I know I had someone leave a comment about, well, yeah, I used to carry something like that, and you know, poking everything. I, I just got used to certain things, so it really honestly doesn't bother me anymore. As always, I've got like my Boston Scally cap. Honestly, I love the Rob Gronkowski one. It is hands down my favorite one by those guys, because I'll admit, I'm a huge Gronk fan. I hope he comes out of retirement and plays again. If not, I love what I saw, and thank you for the memories, Gronk. Another thing I always do is I always seem to wear sunglasses, no matter what weather it is or, you know, whatever time of day, unless it's, you know, nighttime, that just seems stupid. Um, it cuts down on glare. It gives you a different little advantage that people really can't track where your eyes are going. So if there's a bad situation going on, you might be able to head it off pretty quick. Now, starting as simple as possible, like I showed you in the last video, I always seem to carry a hank with me. They're, they have many, many different uses, and I'm glad to always have one on me. But from that everyday carry group I belong to, I just this one has really spoken to me, and I've just nonstop carried it ever since. I do carry a challenge coin with me always. Because, well, my time in service meant everything to me. And I think I finally kind of settled on a wallet. All right. Now, most of the stuff you're going to see in this video is going to be broken into basically two cards where you can go check them out. What I'm about to show you can be found right up here. That's for every single bit of gear review that we've done so far. And this is a pop-off leather wallet. Now, the guys at pop-off contacted me a while ago and said, hey, we like what you're doing. Can we send you a wallet? And I was like, sure. The only big reason I didn't carry it forever and a day after I did that initial review is there's no RFID protection. Well, Pop-Off has fixed that. But what I like is it's an old-fashioned, like, Grandpa 6... Yeah, 6? No. Yeah, 6. Sorry. 6 pockets. All right. And you got your standard little, you know, thing for money and everything else. It's a great leather wallet. It is held up beautifully. But Pop-Off came out with something that... I had to get the moment it popped up on, you know, my email. That is an RFID blocking card. It is absolutely phenomenal. It does its job. It sits right in your wallet and it gives you that extra added just sense of, okay, I like this. I can carry this and this is great. The other stuff, um, as I usually do in my wallet and like I've shown in other videos before, stars for troops. I've carried it ever since I got them. It's something I just added, just on an offshoot. Okay, so those of you who are no stranger to my channel, you know the camera took yet another dump. 
So I'm going to back it up a little bit. If it gets redundant, I'm sorry. So on the inside stuff here with, you know, where you keep your cash, I've got one of the stars for troops that I've been carrying ever since I acquired it. And just for weirdness, I got a little Fresno lens in there. You never know when you may have to start a fire a really, really out of the ordinary kind of way. Or I'll admit it, I'm getting older. There's sometimes you're sitting and going, oh, what's that say? So got a little magnifying glass. But there we go. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. I didn't notice that had stopped. All right. So we're going to get into some other stuff. This month I've been testing a flashlight by Keysmart. It's a little bigger than I kind of like, but it does have a good light output. Plus the fact with this thing right here, you can get it really, really like room kind of thing or just narrow it down. So it's just a little bigger than I like carrying on a daily. So I, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be carrying that one. I did make a change in the a pry bar that I've been carrying. Um, that one that I got from my friend over in Italy, it means the world to me to have, and I would just regret it if something ever happened to it. So in last month's PMP prep box, and take a look right up there, there's a card for every single PMP prep box we have ever brought to the channel. One of the little Rogan tools was a small everyday carry kind of thing, so I thought, hey, why not? Let's just swap it out. They're basically the same size. And if this one breaks on me, I am not that invested in this pry that it would actually hurt. I just grab another one. I've loved it ever since I've gotten it. I carry the Gerber Impromptu tactical pen. It's just, you know, space pen refill, you know, Fisher space pen refills. And right here on the front, you do have a glass breaker. And in case you need to, yeah, if you have to, you can reach out, pop somebody with it. It's just, it's held up great for everything I've needed it for since I got it. And I've just been carrying it all the time. As usual, it, it, it's it's a personal thing for me. You know, I carrying the cord bands, rugged rosary. I just, I've loved it ever since I've had it. And yes, I know, I haven't shot the review on this one yet. I will get it done. I am just really backed up on certain areas that I've got to get done. But I just love it. Whenever I'm having a problem, I can pull it out and just clear my thoughts, you know, close my eyes, just go through it all, and I can help recenter myself. I know that may sound weird to some people, but um, because of my asthma-related issues, that's always got to be with me. So, you know, I affectionately refer to it as the crack pipe, and I know it's going to offend some people out there, but there's nothing I can do about that. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I've been recently going back to a paracord strap that I made. There's just something about that camo pattern that I really, truly like. I think they call it Canadian Digital. It's just kind of interesting. All right, now for the other fun parts. Now, usually I carry a Gerber suspension or a suspension next with me. But I'll be honest, the whole time I've been carrying it, I have never had to use the pliers on it ever. And now that I've said that, I know there's going to be a problem coming up in this next month, but I have swapped that out for the Gerber armbar. And yeah, I've just dropped a review on this one recently. I like it. You know, it's got multi-tools in there. It's got a lot of good functionality for me. The only thing that everybody seems to freaking hate, and I haven't had a problem with it yet, is the driver does not lock in place. But if you're holding it like that, you really don't need to worry about that. That's just my feeling. It, it helps me drop a lot of weight from the suspension down to this. And, you know, I've always gone by the principle of ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. So I don't want to carry an awful lot, and I feel that I'm able to help narrow stuff down. Now, I've been swapping back and forth between two folding blades. The Gerber Fastball, which I have absolutely adored since I've had it. And by the way, these next two that I'm going to show you, I've done reviews on them, and you can find those right up there in that card for my affordable Everyday Carry Blade series. I just, it's held an edge really well. It's cut through everything I've needed it to cut through, and the best part, made in the USA. Or the other one that I carry, and I swap one of these out usually on the daily, is my Benchmade Bug Out. And yes, uh, for some friends of mine out there, done in cool guy green colors. That's right. Black on the OD green. This was a gift from an incredible subscriber, and I have just absolutely adored it ever since I've had it. 
So I usually swap out between the folding blades that I carry. It's either the fastball or the Benchmade bug out. I think those are two really good options and they have never failed me on anything. Now, because I live in Washington state, I am allowed to basically carry a sword if I want to, but if it freaks out anybody, then I have all kinds of problems. I know the, the, the laws up here are really, truly weird on certain things. Seriously, they really are. But normally I would carry like a Gerber strong arm, but I'll be honest with you. I have just recently, like I said, got it. And yeah, the review for this guy is in that gear review thing. The um, Gerber principle. Now I know lots of people are crapping on it because it's 420 high carbon steel, but you know, the manufacturer Buck has made a successful lifetime thing out of using 420 high carbon steel. It's not a bad blade. The biggest thing that I love about this that attracted me to it and said I have to have it, it's got a multiple position for your sheath. You can carry it scout kind of like I usually did with the um, Gerber strong arm. There's another plate that you know you can swap out. You can attach it to a molly vest, but basically by dropping that off, removing this and attaching it to your molly, or you've got the wonderful little belt loop, you know, the belt clip. The other thing I thought was cool is you can remove this right here with basically just a little hook and loop system that's on there to help keep it in place. But it's small, it's lightweight, it's compact, it's easily hideable in a normal area for me. So it just gives me that I have a fixed blade in case I need a fixed blade. But that's what I've kind of narrowed things down to. I'm trying to find more multi-purpose items to carry with me while reducing weight. Now, this is my carry because of the environment that I live in. I am in a really heavily rural area, so if something goes wrong, I am literally four miles from anything that I need. Between, you know, a hospital, a shopping center, um, you know, an auto place, and yeah, well, you know, the liquor store, but still, <laughs> you know, I am right in a great zone that within an hour or so, I can get wherever I need to if I'm on foot. That's why I said, those are mine. Okay, now here comes a fun part of this video for me. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger about anything that I've been carrying. Leave it all right down below. You know, I'd love to know what you think about this month's carry that I've been doing. And when I say month, it's like right when I filmed that last video is when I start planning for this video. So after this video, I'm thinking about what can I change for the next video. The other thing I'd really love to know, guys, is if you would like to, can you share your carry down below? Because, you know, let's learn from each other. That's what YouTube's kind of for, right? Go out there, research stuff, and have a good time. <clears throat> All right. Now, usually I do a bunch of this in the very beginning of the video, but I'm trying to swap it up because I'm trying to add more value to you and more value to the videos. Now, if you're a first-time viewer of the channel, I want to take one moment right here and say thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know there's lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very, very grateful that you chose mine. Now, for you first-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, hopefully I've earned your subscription today. What you're going to want to do is look right down there in that corner. And for you long-time viewers, too, who have yet to subscribe, look right down there. Big channel symbol is going to be popping up. Go ahead and click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. Now, after you've done that, if you want to, please go ahead and hit that bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question because it's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a video. Now, speaking of videos, two will be popping up either in a moment or right as I'm pointing over here, because you never know when it's going to do, but, you know, look right over here. You're going to see two videos popping up over there. Those are going to be ones that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My Everyday Carry for February 2020. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.